Hi, this is Kansas City Sprinters. I'm going to show you how to diagnose a bad fan clutch on your Sprinter van or any vehicle with a viscous fan clutch. Uh, this is for people that are experiencing overheating and they're wanting to see if their fan clutch is bad. I'm going to do the demonstration first and then I'm going to do the explanation afterwards. So if you don't want the uh, explanation, uh, just go ahead and watch the demonstration and click out the video. So on this one, we have a bad fan clutch. On this one, we have a good one. What you're going to do you're gonna take a piece of paper and fold it a couple times. Don't take an entire uh, roll of newspaper or a piece of cardboard. That will stop a fan clutch regardless. Uh, so this is a good fan clutch. You're gonna take your paper and you're gonna stick it in the fan. Okay, that one has enough force behind it to uh, the paper does not stop it. Now we're gonna go over to this one. And you can see my paper has completely stopped it. I can actually grab it with my hand and spin it backwards. So this fan clutch has no force behind it. And so that's, you know, if you, st if you shove a uh, cardboard in the other one, it'll stop it. But if you just take a little piece of paper and stick it in here, uh, this fan clutch is just, just toast. So fan clutch can fail in two ways. Basically how this works, let me see if I have a, I think I have one in here to show you. Yeah, so this is your fan clutch. This, uh, in the middle part, that's your clutch, and this is your fan blade. What this is, is it's a viscous fan clutch, meaning that inside of this clutch is full of fluid. When that fluid gets to a specific temperature, basically when the motor heats this up, that fluid expands and it engages the clutch, which puts force behind these blades. Basically, they designed this as a, a system that you can have a spinning blade without any force. So when you're trying to get your motor up to temperature, and then once your motor reaches a specific temperature, your fan clutch kicks in, and then it adds force behind the blades, which forces air over the radiator and cools your coolant down. So what happens a lot is you'll see on a bad fan clutch, or one that's failed in this way, you'll see um, a lot of residue and oil and gunk around here, and um, it usually gets real thick and sludgy with dirt. Uh, so that's a way you can tell if your 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 clutch is not uh, functioning properly. Another way that these can fail is they can fail always on, which is also bad. Um, you'll, you'll be able to diagnose this when you turn it on, you'll hear what's called fan roar, and it just makes a very loud roaring noise, and um, it will continue regardless of uh, if the vehicle is hot or cold. And um, if you, get your, if you get your vehicle really hot on a good functioning fan clutch, you will hear fan roar, but that's because it's what it's supposed to do when it gets to 2.30 or whatever, it kicks on. So, um, and a lot of times you can tell if it's bad, this little bearing back here will be split and there'll be missing bearings and it basically just gets locked in one position and that puts unnecessary load on your motor and other bad things. So regardless, if that happens, you need to replace it as well. But uh, we're talking about today overheating, um, and you really need this for when you're you're idling, uh, and you have a hot day, stop and go traffic. You got your AC on; it's 90 degrees outside, and uh, you overheat your motor. Um, now, getting into Sprinter specifics, and this is probably true for other vehicles as well. If you're watching it for a different vehicle, but in Sprinters, I need to tell people that um, the majority of your fan clutches, if they are still original, especially in T1N model years and early NCV3, uh, they're bad period. Uh, I just see it so often. This is the epidemic of blown motors, um, blown head gaskets. It's because people have bad fan clutches and they leave them in there and they don't bother to replace them and they don't want to spend the money and they cheap out. And what happens is they go over a mountain pass with their full built camper and they overheat their motor and pop goes the head gasket for 80 bucks for a $120 hand fan clutch uh, and saw a little bit of labor, you know, maybe $200 total, $300, you blew up your whole motor. So just do yourself a favor, just do your cooling system. Uh, do the whole thing, do the belts and the pulleys and the water pump. And uh, if you don't know if it's been done, just do it and then you're done. And you get to protect your motor and you get to have peace of mind when you go over a pass. And another thing, don't buy a cheap fan clutch. Don't go and get one of those four season ones. Yeah, you're gonna find some guy on the internet that says like, oh, I bought one, it was great. 
okay, I can find three more guys and say I bought one and went bad two months later. Just buy the Mercedes one or buy the Bear one or buy a high-end, expensive, German-made fan clutch and you are going to uh, thank, your van is going to thank you and uh, you're going to have a lot better ownership experience. So again, piece of paper, fold it just a couple times. That was a good one, did not stop. That was a bad one, just stopped immediately. And uh, if it's a really hot day and you overheat your motor and you do this test, you know, it's it's not gonna work because, well, if you have a bad fan clutch, it will. But anyways, so that's, uh, that's the basic of how you do it. And uh, comment, message, subscribe. Uh, any questions down in the comments, I'll do my best to reply to them. I appreciate it. Uh, Kansas City Sprinters, have a great day.